Hey there jammers, what's jamming? Purple Jam here, and I've bought myself a weed shop. Wait a minute, new game? Oh, this is a game? Well I knew Steam had good deals, but I did think buying a shop for £15 did seem too good to be true. Hmm, I guess that's why they call it a devil's lettuce, because I seem to have been tricked. I guess we'll just have to play the game instead then. We're also going to play the game on Trippy. I don't know what that means, but neither do most people who are on a trip either. Okay, first things first, we really have to undo that sensitivity. Now I know what they meant when they said Trippy. Now the sensitivity is far too low and I'm just moving about like a snail. The AI must be just looking at me like, what the hell is he doing? We've not even gave him any weed yet and he's already acting like he's high. Maybe the AI's not looking at me because this guy seems to be like he's in a world of his own. Oops, excuse me ma'am, I don't know if you noticed but there's a person here. I can offer you an opportunity of a lifetime in exchange for one measly kidney. Give me your kidney and I'll tell you all about it. That doesn't sound like a fair deal. Give my kidney just hear the deal. And then he tells me and he's like, oh, and if you want the deal, that'll be your other kidney. And should we really be discussing shady business deals like this in front of other people? So about this opportunity, look to your right, what do you see? Um, I can't see anything because there's so many people walking into me. Wow, there she is, my very own weed shop and it only costs me... One kidney. Yep. What a bargain. We'll just grow our plants in this toilet area in the back. It seems like the most hygienic thing to do. And we'll give it some of this quality boost, which I'm sure is just bleach. If it is, at least it'll clean away the stench of urine. Now I'm just kicking all this trash into my shop to dress it up a bit. Come on, come on, yes! Now I have a ball. You have no idea how hard that was to get in here. So I've been sent to some guy to get free samples so I can hand them out to customers. I just love how you can see all these things lying about the streets that I've tried to kick into my shop. Why is his Twitter username in his name? Just introduce yourself like, Hi, I'm at Purple Jam Official. Just in case anyone wants to add you. Oh my god, he got up fast, didn't he? Is that... Is that a diaper he's wearing? Wait, that's it? Thanks to the freebie? So you're not even going to buy anything? I mean, what about a free sample? Made you think it was free? Now this guy knows how free samples work. He paid with money and with a funky beat. The dude gave me some balloons for making two sales. We're literally dealers and he's like, yay, balloons. And then he goes from giving me balloons to send me down some seedy alleyway to buy a counter. Oh my god, are you okay? Should we like call an ambulance or something? 100 bucks for a counter? I don't even have 100 bucks. I'm pretty sure we can make this for free. Or at least a lot cheaper than 100 bucks anyway. You know, I may not be able to afford the counter, but I can just do this for free. And if I charge him 100 bucks for the counter, I wonder how much this baby's worth. If I can just get it inside the shop. Come on, almost there. There, perfect. Oh no, I've came back because I've got enough money and he knows about the sign. Just like, nah man, that wasn't me before. You must be tripping. I've just put the counter right here in the corner. You know, somewhere that counts. And now all we have to do is wait for the money to roll in. Why is no one coming in? Hello, we're open you know. Then I'll just tell him to drop by my shop. Cool, I'll swing by your shop soon. Great. Jesus, he didn't have been soon. He immediately got up and headed straight for my shop. But he's already that high that he literally can't enter because the balloons are blocking his path. I don't know if I should really be selling you anymore. Fortunately for me though, I have no morals. It's let me sell to him at the door. Where is that shop of yours again? You'll literally stand next to it. Is everyone in this game just high 24-7? Oh no, the free sample was so good that she's literally taking a seizure. It's actually just let me push her into my shop. Now that's how you get business. Instead of pushing the competitors out of the way, you just push people into your shop. There you go, another. Well, I was going to say happy customer, but she doesn't look so happy. There we go, another customer. This is how I know if someone wants to come into my shop, if they're just standing here taking a seizure. Now I can advertise my product as a medical cure for seizures and make a bomb. I don't know how my guy's pushing this dude though, he's an absolute machine. Quick, I better get onto my advertisement too. Cures seizures and increases strength. Man, I'm a marketing genius. So now that I've served enough customers, I've been given the mission of decorating my shop and somehow their big idea to drive customers is to buy two crappy pictures. I much preferred my idea of false advertisement, but again, I don't have enough money because everything in this game is so expensive, so I'll need to come back. Oh look, another customer, or someone who needs medical attention. Either way, they've been pushed into my shop regardless. I just love how you can drop the seed into the pot and pour the water at the exact same time. Now that's the type of skill we drive at customers. I should sit on the street and do that. Come to think of it, where am I getting the water from? You know what, we're on a toilet, so I don't even want to know. This person appears to be stuck in my shop, like they can't figure out how to get out at all. And I've also just realised I can push people into my shop, even if they're walking, like I thought I could only do it if they were standing in one spot. So look, I brought you some friends. Oh my god, look how many people have pushed into my shop. Now this is the worst thing I could have discovered. Okay, this might have went too far now. I have near enough the whole town captured my shop. There's so many people in there that I can't even fit anyone else in. Look at the boardwalk, it's basically deserted because every single person is just stuck in my shop. I'm buying these seeds but I'm just thinking to myself, how am I even going to plant them? How am I even going to get past those people blocking the door? No! The game let everyone out whilst I was gone. That took me so much time and effort to do as well. 
I've ran out of free samples, so I've went back to this guy and I can't believe the price he's charging per free sample. I sell whole gram for the price he's charging. Maybe I should switch my business to pre-rolled. I feel like I do the most work, yeah, and the least amount of money out of everyone in town. Great, I've ran out of free samples again. I'm never going to make any money doing it this way. And now he's telling me you can literally find free samples in the trash. Well, he's taking the piss out of me and I've wasted a whole lot of money for something I could have got for free. See, either way, you could still say I've had the piss taken out of me. I can't see anything there. Does he literally mean in the trash? Can I even get in there? Is that one there? No, I think that's literally a straw. We'd have to be pretty baked to try and smoke that. I'm such an idiot. I've wasted so much money buying samples off him. And this technique fits in well with our hygiene policy. I've grown our stock in the bathroom. Is that money as well? It is money. Why am I even born to grow my own stuff when product money literally grows on boardwalks here? That was pretty dank, he says. It's a gift in the sample. I literally just picked up off the ground next to him. He's probably so of it that he was the one who threw it on the ground and he's not even noticed. Everybody's buying off me now. Who would have thought that people would love half smoked samples so much? Or maybe that's why you want more of it. Because it's not enough. I think I found my new marketing hook. And now with all the money I'm making, I can afford both posters. I'm not going to lie. I actually almost forgot. That's what I was doing. I got a bit distracted with the whole caption of the town and rating bins thing. I've even made so much money doing that that I can afford to buy seeds on the way home too. I'll just put this poster here and that one here. There, that should draw on the tourists. Oh, by the way, this person is stuck in my shop again. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same person who got stuck in my shop the last time. Now the dude has asked me to bring Michelle's kidney, which shouldn't be too hard. I mean, he does constantly lie in a spot, at least I'm wide open to kidney harvesting. At least he's very honest and open about the business he gets up to. He has no problem at all discussing it in front of all these people walking into us every time we talk. You have to respect that in a person. The honesty thing, not the walking into people. Now Michelle's telling me to get Excalibur. Isn't that the sword that King Arthur used? Wait a minute. Is this guy high? Simple no. Dangerous yes. The inner city's in a complete lockdown since. What? This game makes absolutely no sense. Either that, I'm starting to think I might be the one who's high. He was trying to say this place was deserted and dangerous, yet there's loads of people just walking about, minding their own business. Maybe he's so paranoid that the danger's all in his mind. Oh, the Excalibur, an exact replica of the one King Arthur used. So Michelle now wants me to beat up the dude, which shouldn't be too hard. The guy can hardly stand as it is. Okay, maybe it is hard than it looks. He can seem to stand alright now. A sharp blow to the head really sobered him up. We just keep fighting over this table. Got him. I thought I was just meant to beat him up, but he looks like he's dead to me. And if I know one thing, it's what death looks like. I love how my solution to check if he's dead is to hit him again. Wait a minute, so can I just hit normal people with this as well? I'll take that as a yes. I always feel like the best way to discover something is to try it without thinking about the consequences. So Michelle has given me a PC to kickstart my business and he's going to Japan. Oh, how I love a happy ending. Maybe not so happy an ending. I really hope that doesn't come back to bite me on the butt. Okay, I'm looking at this PC and all this looks far too complicated for me. I think I've gotten a little too far over my head. I'm a simple man who loves simple things. And that's why I've decided to go love Monks the Fish and Kanye West. Thanks so much for watching and thank you to my patrons. Harry Haywood, Captain Tourette, Ash, Kajel Sinke, Sam Mumble, Zipnix and Zippy Lucky.